Welcome back to my cooking studio. Our dish for today is caloretta. It's a Filipino style spicy stew. I will use a caribou meat. It is truly wild game meat here in Alaska. Traditionally, caldereta is prepared using goat meat. But since it is rather difficult to come by this meat here in Alaska, I opted to cook it with the caribou meat. Has a very mild, gamey flavor. Hunters and chefs like me have remarked that among game animals, caribou has a very mild flavor. It's much less gamey than deer meat, all while maintaining a low-fat content that makes it quite healthy. The flavor of caribou meat is gentle and mild, gamey, while the texture is very similar to low-fat cuts of beef. Marinate the caribou meat with lemon juice, soy sauce, and freshly cracked peppercorn, then leave in the fridge for a couple of hours. Make sure your pan is hot, then add the oil. When the oil starts to shimmer and smoke just slightly, you're ready to add the meat. High temperatures are needed to get a truly caramelized, deep brown sear on the surface of the meat. Use a stainless steel or a cast iron skillet for this kind of cooking. Avoid nonstick skillets. Searing meat is 100% about building flavor. When that meat hits a scorching hot pan, the surface instantly begins caramelizing in your stew or braise. This translates into the kind of deep, savory flavor that we crave on an almost a cellular level. This is the flavor that makes us want to lick our plates clean. No sear, no plate licking. How much can some caramelization action affect the flavor of your finished dish? Quite a lot. Imagine a steak that gets grilled over high heat. All those complex, savory, deeply caramelized flavor. Now imagine a steak cooked over medium heat, gray and moist, tasting, utterly boring. I strongly feel that searing meat is worth the effort. It's an extra bit of work that results in a huge payoff in the flavor of your finished dish. Once you've seared all sides of the meat, you're ready to transfer the meat to your pot to braise or stew. Put it in the oven to braise or continue with whatever cooking method your dish calls for. Mincing garlic takes only a few minutes and is well worth the time and effort. Here's how to do it. Starting with a quick way to peel and ending with finely chopped garlic. To dice your red onion. First, start off with one half of a cleaned red onion. Next, with your knife, you're going to make slices. Heat the olive oil in a heavy sauce pot over medium heat. Add onions and garlic and tossing often. Cook until softened. Add the seared caribou meat and cook, stirring occasionally. Add tomato paste and tomato sauce, pepper, thyme and rosemary to eliminate the gamey taste. Then add water or stock if available. Season with soy sauce and salt to taste. Then lower heat, cover and cook for about one to one and a half hours or until the caribou meat is tender. Add the finely chopped liver or liver spread if available, green bell pepper, red chili and bay leaf for extra layer of flavor as caldereta, stirring to combine until well distributed. Add potatoes, carrots, and continue cooking at least 10 more minutes or until the caribou meat is tender and the sauce is thickened enough. Remove bay leaves and add sweet peas. Cook until warm through, then season. Stew to taste with salt and pepper if needed. Then ladle into serving plates and garish with any herbs that you like. If you are watching this far, I'm pretty sure you like this video. Please hit the subscribe button, so every time I have new upload cooking video you will be notified. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video.